Hello world! Welcome back to another Pico CTF 2022 write-up video. In this video, we'll be walking through the bu -bu 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 bloat reverse engineering challenge, worth 300 points. Let's get into it. Can you get the flag? Reverse engineer this binary. Okay, pretty straightforward, we just need to reverse engineer that binary. So why don't we come over to our Kali terminal, and I've already got the binary loaded here. Let's try running it. Okay, let's just type in blah. Sorry, that's not it. Okay, pretty straightforward. We need to figure out what the favorite number is, probably. Let's run strings on it, see if we can glean anything. Okay, nothing much, just the prompts, and sorry, that's not it. I don't even see the congratulations message, if there is one. So what we're gonna do is we're going to open this up in Cutter. And I need that. And we'll run it in the background so we still have access to our terminal. See? That's what the little ampersand is for. And let's pry this open and see what we're dealing with. Okay, so we see a main function here. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. And it's saying, what's my favorite number here? And if var underscore 40 equals this, then go to this function and this function does something. So what we're interested in here is this value because it appears that since this is directly after the prompt, it appears that this var underscore 40 is our input. And if it compares it right, then it'll do all this stuff that probably prints out the flag. Else, sorry, that's not it. So we can kind of tell that this if condition is what's checking our number that we type in because anything else that you type in would give this message. So we can just kind of assume that this var underscore 40h here, again, is our user input. So really, we just need to see what this hex value is in decimal and then use that as our favorite number. And we should be able to get the flag from that. So. I didn't mean to quit, but let's rerun that since I messed up clearly. Okay, good thing it doesn't take very long to reopen. Let's copy that this time instead of, I did control shift C instead of control C. So I guess that's like a shortcut for exiting cutter or something. So we'll go ahead and just we can easily do this in Python. We can just type in the hexadecimal number with the zero X in front of it, and it'll give us the decimal value back. Exit Python, clear. Run bloat, paste the decimal value in, and there's the flag. Cut the bloat. All right, if you enjoyed the video, drop a like and subscribe to the channel to show your support. Turn on post notifications to get regular injections of cyber content directly into your feed. Check out our Patreon, join our Discord, and follow us on Twitter. Links in the description box down below. And leave any feedback or questions in the comments section down below. This is Almond Milk. Thanks for watching. Goodbye, world.